Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Desrin. Most people call me Des. Feel free to call me whichever. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm going to be doing a retwist today. I washed my hair probably like... Oh my gosh, has it been a week? No way. It might have been a week ago, y'all. I'm like five, almost six weeks post retwist. This is the longest I've gone without a retwist. Um kind of a look it's a look it's a look it's a look but someone did mention in the comments that they've been having trouble with clip placement so that is going to be my main focus today I'm also gonna be using a different product today I'm sure many of you guys that are in the lock community know about Nia the lock god and her products and so months ago i think it was for like a black friday sale i got the retwist jelly which is more like an oil than a jelly and then i also got the retwist gel which i've never used on myself i've used on other people i think it just depends on the person i'm using it on you know not all products work the same on everyone's hair i wasn't really a huge huge fan of it but i wanted to at least give it a try on myself before really coming to a conclusion about how I felt about the gel. I didn't pick up the jelly, but this is the gel. Don't focus on me. That's what the packaging looks like. The packaging is fire. Packaging is very nice. You can kind of see, it's like a clear gel. It has like a lemony, very lemony scent to it. And there's definitely enough for me to do my hair. I don't want to give up on this gel because Everyone raves about her products. I don't want to be that person, you know, but I'll be that person, but I don't want to be that person. For this retwist today, I am going to be using my double prong clips, my usual. I want to start off by saying clip placement really depends on the stage that your locks are in. So for starter locks, if you've ever watched other people in their videos or if you see videos online, you'll notice that if it's someone's first or second retwist, they might have clips throughout the length of their locks. So maybe one lock will have like four clips on it or three clips on it. That's to make sure that the entire lock stays in shape. So it really depends on the stage of your hair. As of right now, I'm definitely in the baby lock phase. I'm less than a year. so. I don't really need to use as many clips and it also just depends on your technique some people like to use a lot of clips some people don't it really just depends on the person I'm just gonna start off by parting my hair I will link the video up in the cards to show you guys how I'm able to part my hair and how easy it is for me it's really as simple as just screen recording my phone to my TV so it's a really quick video I'll put that up in the cards for you guys to check out but anyways I did spray my hair with aloe vera juice just to give it some moisture after separating my locks I'm gonna add a little bit of gel to my new growth and I'm gonna begin twisting in a clockwise direction so that is going towards the right side I do like to comb through my new growth a little bit just to evenly distribute the gel you don't want the gel just sitting only on one part of your new growth that literally does nothing for you at all so after twisting down the length of my hair i'm going to locksmith it a little bit just to tame some of that frizz so i'm going to take my clip and the prongs are going to be facing the left side and you want to place the clip where your new growth and your lock actually meet and I really like to secure it just to make sure that I don't get any unraveling. So I usually add a second clip as well. I also had someone ask me where exactly I was sliding the clip. So I'm sliding it behind the base of my new growth. That is what is clamping it and securing it and making sure that it doesn't unravel. You still want to do this to your comfort level. You don't want this to be uncomfortable for you. I know clips can be painful, they can poke you, so be careful. The reason why I didn't use other clips for the other two locks at the base is because I was able to angle the clips in a way that covered the entirety of the new growth, so there was really no need to use a second clip.
you really don't need to use a lot of gel this is about the amount of gel that i use that also depends on how much new growth you have just make sure you don't go overboard for those areas that might need a little bit more product in this next clip i'm going to show you what it looks like when you place the clip two different ways so if you place the clip facing the left it kind of bends outward a little bit and it's not really that flat it's still pretty secure i could you know continue like this but i want to have a really solid base and i want to be able to clip other locks to this lock and to make sure that it stays consistent and solid throughout i'm going to be placing the clip facing the right I don't want you guys to get caught up on having to place the clips a certain direction every single time. It really is whatever gives you the best result. Unless you are starting locks, you really don't need to use one clip for every single lock. You can definitely clip multiple locks together. It will not only save you time, but it will probably be much more comfortable because you'll have less clips in your hair. So for the crown area, you'll notice that I angle my clips kind of downwards. That's just to make sure that everything stays flat. These locks do tend to be thicker in this area for me. So if I were to clip them any other way, they would simply flip over just because they're so thick. So clipping them downwards really helps. To set my hair, I'm going to be using the BB Wrapping Lotion. This stuff smells so good. I'm telling you, it just gives you that crisp factor. And then I wrap my hair with about two, maybe three black rapid styling strips. A lot of people ask, what is the purpose of this step? The wrapping lotion does give it a nice hold. It's not going to leave like residue on your hair. It's very lightweight, but it does give you that nice like crispness to your resus. I don't really know how else to explain it, but it also helps with any flyaways or frizz at your roots. My hair feels heavier. It's getting some weight to it. I can actually kind of like <laughs> shape it in a sense. Like y'all know when before, how it would just like stick out and it would stay there until like I wrap my hair up. It's like dropping. So that is so exciting. I will say that this gel feels like stickier than the Napstar one. Um, and I noticed like just touching my hair, there's like kind of like a cast. So I'm really hoping that this stuff doesn't flake on me. I can't really tell like looking at the camera. I didn't really look in the mirror yet. I'm still on the fence about it. I'm not convinced. Honestly, this would not be a gel that I would buy again. The one thing I really do like about the Napstar gel is that it turns into like an oil and i'm not talking about like a shine and jam oil like y'all know what i'm talking about it's not like a shine and jam oil it's like 
it has a strong hold but it still makes my hair very soft and i don't know i just I'm, I'm so loyal to like the Napstar gel, it's not even funny. I feel like using this product over and over, like for each retwist would definitely result in more noticeable buildup. And I feel like if I were to like pick at it, it would like turn crusty. If you guys have tried the product and liked it, you know, definitely let me know what you think. Obviously this is just how I feel and my opinion on it, so yeah that's that that wraps it up for this video i will include a clip at the end showing you guys what my hair looks like tomorrow in the morning and if i decide to style it however i style it and yeah if you guys have any questions comments or concerns of course drop them down below and i will see y'all next time bye y'all